In this video, we're going to be showcasing some of the uh, features of the UMA Diving Academy, specifically the mini missions that are going to come with the mission. This is still a behind the scenes, it's still a work in progress, but I wanted to give everyone a little update on how the uh, mini missions are coming and specifically what to expect. So here we are at the front of the Diving Academy. We have the uh, diving support ship here, which is going to have a mini mission in itself. That's probably the uh, second last mission. So I have everything mapped out and I'm going to showcase that. So we added a little note and a uh, keypad with the UMA rank. So here you type in the rank if you know the rank number you have and it lets you skip doing the mission. So this is almost like a save feature. You, if you've gained previous progress in other missions, you can not have to repeat them if you don't want. We added this little trophy chest. We see our security room is well underway. Now you'll find notes like this around the map. So M1 stands for mission one. So this is specific to mission one. So you don't have to do this unless you're doing it for the mission. If you do it otherwise, it won't gain you any benefit. We'll definitely have to add a light in this nook here, but that's okay. So we make our way to the classroom. Now note the door is open because it's between the hours of five and or eight and five. If we change the time, the door closes. So you can't do missions at night. So the reason for this is to uh, slow you down, make you explore the map. If you have to go sleep upstairs in your accommodations to get to the next day, you can do that. So now between the hours of uh, eight and five, the doors are open. So first thing you see is that this wall is now changed. There's keypads and doors that open automatically. So if you look at this note, it says the far wall contains the Umarank mini missions. If we look here, you can reset your progress. And here there's some codes you'll have to be entering. So we'll explain that in a second here. So if we begin our seaman training, this opens up and it tells us start mission one. Now, mission two and mission three are already or still locked. So you can only do one mission sequentially at a time until you pass it. And then the uh, next mission opens up. So we will, in this case, start our mission one. And we look here, it says report to the security office for your onboarding. So we can make our way now to the security office. So it says come inside, sit on the stool for a photo, then head up to the admin desk. So come inside. There's a little photo booth here. There we go, the flash went off. So that's already the first part of our mission is done. Now we head up to the admin desk. Now I already know where everything is. You'll have to do some research. So it says, press the button to sign the paperwork, then step into the HR office. So sign paperwork, we press it. This is the commander's office. This is the HR office. So let's go in the HR. Now we'll sit down here watch the video at the link for onboarding then enter the code in the whiteboard so at this stage what i'm going to do is have a sp have a video that i make for youtube that is only um view by link so it won't be a public video that you'll watch that's going to give you the full breakdown of the umarank system you'll get a code now over here is the umarank codes so the first rank is semen and you get a code. Then there's the mate, chief mate, and captain. So your code, you'll come to the HR office each time after completing a rank and you'll get a new code. So in this case, we can go back downstairs. Now I already have the benefit of knowing the code, but I will not reveal it to you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter it here. So there we go. I entered the code, the mission light passed came on, and the second button is now enabled. 
Now, the second one I'm not going to showcase because I want this to be a surprise for you guys. And just note that there is 12 missions in total to get the rank of captain up to here. And in addition to those mini missions, some of which will take you off the base, by the way. For example, they'll take you on that um, diving boat or on the ATV or forklift. So in addition to the mini missions, I'm thinking of making kind of a fixed mission or rather it's a mini mission but not for rank and it's specifically for timing so if we will enter here into the diving pool this now you can see is been revamped because previously we only had I think the boat now we've added some random elements of kind of to cause just a little to fill it out a little bit more there's a tipped over rowboat some boxes there's a hulk of a old ship now this is huge this part here is a massive cave system with switchbacks and turnarounds and stuff and it has a gate here so some of these things can only be entered in the mission and once you beat the mission then of course uh, they'll remain open for you so for example if you want to redo parts of a previous mission you can do that you can you can explore also. So once you've unlocked the cave system once, or the boat once, the door, you then can explore to your heart's desire. You don't have to redo it in the mission, but it just kind of forces and encourages that. Now something else I'm going to show you that's really cool. If we go to the night, turn off the diving lights, and turn on the storm effects. So in this case, we have rain and lightning and thunder. No, actually, no, no uh, thunder, but just the lightning. So now it it mimics kind of when you were out in Stormworks and you're trying to rescue someone from a ship and it's raining and it's storming. So that's it. It looks especially cool when it's uh, nighttime. So with all with with the. Uh, main lights off with the lights on doesn't feel as cool this is kind of the most realistic but if we turn it back to day obviously it's not as epic so that's something else then there's like a wind shear that it's not functioning except it's used in a mini mission so there's no buttons people are probably going to ask why there's no buttons i may add a note uh also the laboratory and so like I said for the buttons you'll find random buttons for different mini missions around the whole thing they are off nice thing to note is if uh, there's no electricity going to them so if the mini mission is not engaged or if you have not beat that mini mission yet it's just zero electric so it doesn't serve to do anything you have to enable the uh, mission for it to be useful to you now this little area is going to be revamped. I consulted with my uh, brother who does all the testing with me. And rather than having originally we planned to have uh, an, either an elevator that can go down to the water level or a mini escape pod here that drops down. We're actually going to make a cargo ship style uh, escape life raft that's on a raised platform that angles downwards and that will release into the water here if there's an emergency and you have to escape the uh, the base. So that's the main gist of the mini missions to give kind of a behind the scenes for my followers and subscribers. But what I will show now is the microcontroller for the mini missions. Now, I may move them somewhere else, but for now they're all here. So for example, the mission one you just saw. So the way it works is there's a button to activate it, a button that it's, if it's complete. We have our button in, whiteboard in, camera seat and reset. So for example, you have to have the mission on and the, um, If the, so the, if the mission is not on, it resets the mission. That's what we know. The, it resets this this uh, JK flip-flop. And if we have the uh, mission on and if the 
button in, meaning the uh, button that you press upstairs in the HR uh, front desk and the admin desk, if that's on, and if the whiteboard has the right number, then you um, enter here. I'm, not, I'm trying not to show you the code. You enter here and you go to the SR latch, which tells you that the mission's complete. Now you can reset the mission and uh, have to redo it. Some of them are more intricate, some of the other missions. I'm not going to explain what the missions are here. There may be a tutorial video for how to complete the mini missions at some point when I finish them all. As you can see, I'm working on mission 11 now. I still need 12 and I still need the final rank. Now the way the captain system works is when you've obtained your um, different uh, mini missions, when they're all done, or if you've typed in your Umarank code, it goes to tell you that this rank is complete. And it, so the different codes will unlock different levels of the Umarank, meaning if you're uh, the first level, so if you've already beaten Seaman training, but not your mate training, all your Seaman missions are complete and you can uh, redo them or whatever, but the mate missions are still not complete. You can't save halfway through, uh, like I can't complete mission four and go to be on mission five and save it. You have to beat a whole rank and that's what gives you the the different, um, tri the different levels or ranks. Now what I will also show is now that the pool's empty here because we're in uh, build mode. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of the vessel that's in the area, the hulk of the ship. We have the rowboat down here. And then the cave system is very intricate as well. I'm not going to show too much, but there's multiple rooms, multiple areas and buttons to fill out and press, including some air pockets above. So you'll be able to explore those at your leisure when you're doing the mission or after you've completed the mission. But overall, um, I'm so excited to reveal this. I think these mini missions are going to be so cool. And I also think that with, um, I think that with some of my future vessel re releases, I may have just mini missions for fun, not um, any kind of rank or progress, but just to add elements of exploration make you go into different areas like i just showed you here when we went up to the admin desk up here and stuff like in theory you'd have no reason to be in this area other than exploring but now it actually gives you a a viable purpose so with that um i will end this video stay tuned for the next uh, video for for the uh, base uh there will be probably a couple more because as I've gotten more intricate in the details there's more that I kind of want to show off and explain and if you guys are interested there will be more content coming as well so not just uh, this creation I have some other ships in mind some other creations in mind so all that will be coming as I as I'm able to complete it so thank you for watching enjoy uh, your day and stay tuned for the release of the UMA Diving Academy.